Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's episode, we're gonna take a look at the Gorf Cabaret again, but we're gonna solve a couple little problems with it. So one of them was the marquee. The marquee was kind of messed up. So not only was it faded, but the top of it was all burnt and melted. I have no idea what caused that. It's definitely not cigarette butts, because this is like major burns. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace it with this one, and we'll, we'll walk through that process today on this episode. And this one I was able to get my buddy Stringer Films. He said he found this on Facebook Marketplace. I, I contacted the guy and sure enough, I got it for a really good price. Uh, I really didn't wanna get one that was a reproduction. I wanted to get one that was an original and this is an original, so we'll install that. And then the other thing that we wanna do really quickly on this cabinet is there's some paint that got splashed on it. So I don't know if someone was having like a finger painting party. I don't know what was going on, but whoever owned this before David got paint all over it. So I'll show you a simple and easy way to remove paint from the top surface of a cabinet uh, should you encounter that same problem. All right guys, let's just get right to it. So real quick, before we remove it, you can see the difference between the old one and the new one. So you can see it's not, it's not perfect, but it's definitely in better shape. And by the way, I just tripped over it on the ground, so I just chipped it a little bit more, so that's awesome. It's definitely in better shape than this one. This one's been faded and things like that. So we're gonna get this one off. So to do that, it's pretty simple. There's just some screws we gotta unscrew right here. We just gotta go with this guy. These screws have a bunch of, um, they're a bunch of rust on them. So what I like to do with these is I just take a little piece of sandpaper and I just sand the top of the screw so it looks brand new again. A little, you know, kind of a basic, basic trick, nothing crazy, but it does help. So I'm gonna just finish unscrewing these. Oh, screw ran away from me. And then we should be able to just get this off. Now, I am curious what caused this to melt. So we'll see, maybe the light is pressed up against it. I'm not sure, but we're about to find out. Okay, definitely not. So I have no idea how this happened, but check this thing out. Look how melted the thing is. Like, it's no joke. That is not good. <laughs> That's bad, man. It's really bad. Look at it. So we're gonna put the new one on right now. All right, I put the old one on the ground. We got the new one here. I'll get that other screw in a second, but it should fit nicely. Oh my gosh, that looks so much better than the other one. Look at this. Look at this again. Look how crazy, God damn it! I'm dropping all the screws. Look at all how crazy the, <laughs> that's nuts. All right, let's get, um, let me just clean off these screws real quick. So let me get some sandpaper. So you can see some of these screws are severely uh, oxidized on top. So what I do is I just have this little sanding block and I'm just gonna hit the top of it. Just lightly, I should be able to get some of this off. Thing is, I think I think if I do that with these, see they're black. So you know what? Actually, forget about it. I don't want them to be chrome, so we're not going to do that. We'll leave them rusted for now. I'm going to be lazy, and uh, we'll. Um, I thought I thought for some reason I could do it without it shining through, but it's going to shine through chrome, and I don't want that. So all right, we can go back at a later date, and we can actually paint. You know, sand them all, sand them nice, and then just kind of hit them with, a, with some paint. Or we could just get new ones completely if we wanted to. But this already looks so much better, so I'm pretty happy with the way this, this looks. And you know, this cabinet's gonna have, I'm gonna, I'm being a little lazy with it right now. I'm probably gonna put more te new T-molding on it and get it cleaned up a little bit more. But for now, just to kind of fix a couple of these little problems. Because in, in, in actuality, this probably is gonna need a new, si new side paneling, so. They sell paneling that, um, that looks like this, but if I can clean it up, I'd rather clean it up and keep it original for as long as I can, and then we'll worry about that later. Down the road, it could be a, like a longer term restoration project, but I think after it gets cleaned up, it'll look really nice, even though it's got some flaws. Okay, that one's not, that one's not liking me. Let's see. You gotta be careful with these acrylic things because you don't wanna you don't want to crank it down so hard that you crack the acrylic. So just be careful when you crank these back down. It looks good so far. Definitely looks a hell of a lot better than it did. That's for sure. And then make sure you don't have your screw gun torqued too hard here because it'll, it'll crack this, like I said. So when it gets to the end, we'll just sort of hand screw them in. But man, it looks so much better than it did. I'm stoked. Cool. 
Yeah, it looks pretty good, right? I think this looks nice. All right, let's fire it up and see how it looks lit. Well, you know what? You're not seeing it because the garage door is open. Let me close the garage door real quick and I'll see what it looks like. It's about to get really dark in here. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I like it. I like it. It looks good. So this guy's nice and clean now, and then I'm going to show you how we're going to get some of that paint off the side of this guy. Okay, so you can see right here that there's a bunch of paint on here, right? I have no idea how I got here, but what you use is you take like a citrus strip, okay? You can get this at any hardware store. You can usually get it at Ace. You can get it at, you know, Lowe's, Home Depot, whatever. And this is good for stripping paint, but keep in mind, it's got a laminate. I'm going to shut the game off real quick. It's got laminate, so it's not going to damage the laminate. It's just going to pull the paint off of the laminate surface. So if you had, if you put citrus strip on a painted surface, it's going to lift the paint up. So that could be useful if you buy a game and someone's painted over it and you think there might be artwork underneath, you could use citrus strip to get that up. But anyways, what I'm going to do is I, unfortunately I can't find any of my rags. I have no idea why, but I'm going to spray this on. And actually I was having problems with this bottle in Arizona, everything dries up and it ruins everything. So I'm going to have to do it without the spray bottle, unfortunately. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some on this paper towel. It's a lot better when you spray it on, but I'm going to put a little bit on this paper towel and I'm going to put it, I'm going to kind of dab it on this and you let it sit a little bit. The problem with Arizona is the air temperature is so high that this stuff dries really quick. So this time of year is not great to do this in a garage, but, um, you know, so I'm just going to dab it. And again, I don't have any rags right now, so I'm just using what I have, but I'm going to dab it on there and you can already see it's already coming off onto the rag, the paint. Uh, if it's really bad, you could get a little plastic scraper or something that you're not going to damage the cabinet with and you could lift it up that way because what will happen is it'll turn into this goopy mess and you'll have to kind of scrape it into a pile and wipe it off. But you want to be careful because this is laminate after all. We don't want it to get scratched up or damaged. So just be careful with it. But you can see already, look, I'm going to wipe, wipe this a little bit. It's coming off right there. So we'll work this whole section. This stuff isn't too bad, this paint disaster on here so it's coming off really easy um you know depending on what you know how bad the damage is it could actually take a lot longer so like there's some right here that i think is going to take a little bit longer this green splotch but for the most part look this whole section is already coming off so this is a really good tip for those of you that have cabinets that got damaged by paint or anything like that and look that whole section is already off like how cool is that so that whole painted section's already gone and now this isn't perfect. You know, there's still problems with the cabinet, like some of it's peeling at the bottom, but it looks really nice. So depending on if you want to do a full restoration or not, you may be able to solve your problem with just this. So again, it's citrus strip. You can get it anywhere. This one's called high speed ready strip. Uh, I'll have a link in the description. I just got this off Amazon cause I'm, I'm lazy, but yeah, you can go down to most hardware stores and they'll have it. If not, you can go to Amazon. Okay. So we're back. It's almost finished. But you can see here, it looks a lot better and we can finish it off later on. But what I do is maybe get a rag with a little bit of damp water and just kind of wipe the rest of the access off. But yeah, it does an amazing job. It looks great. And there's some um, residue from what looks like someone had duct taped the door shut. I can get that off with like some goo gone or something, but I'm stoked, man. It looks really good. I mean, outside of the bottom being a little bit damaged, it looks money. All right. Our job is done here. All right, that about wraps up this video. This is the first time I've used Citrus Strip and it works really good. Just keep in mind, you might wanna use it in an inconspicuous space first, just to make sure you're not gonna do any damage. And also when you use it for larger projects where you're trying to take over a top or take off a top layer of paint, uh, it can get really messy, so just keep that in mind. And you probably should wear gloves. My hands are kind of burning right now. Like the top of my skin is actually like melting off my hands. So if I have just bones for hands later, that's why. So just take the proper precautions. 
But anyways, if you enjoy this longer form content, let me know. I didn't really do any fancy editing here. It was just kind of real time almost. So if you enjoy that, let me know. And also if you enjoy the arcade content, the arcade gaming content that I've had on the channel more recently, you're really going to want to catch Chasing Nostalgia. It's this Friday at 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. Here's the trailer. Hope to see you on Friday. And if you enjoy the content on the channel, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. My name is Retro Ralph, and I love arcade games. When I was a kid, the arcade was a magical place. The sights, the sounds, memories etched into my mind forever. Now I'm a collector, and you could say I'm a little obsessed, but I know there are others like me. Are you one of them?